Hey, welcome to Steve's special Friday video, July 25th, 2014. So in a couple of days, I'm going to be opening a new website. It's the, the, the core of it is complete and is, is good. And there's going to be additional stuff added over time. And as I expand a bit more and, and, uh, yeah. And shortly, if you're already on my newsletter list, you will start getting weekly for at least 12 weeks. I'm going to, I'm planning a lot more, uh, an email once a week with a healing video on it. These are all pre-recorded. So we'll get together once a week for three minutes or 15 minutes or whatever. And we'll do some, some really cool cleaning, releasing <laughs> misperceptions of what things mean that cause us to think we're victims of this or that. And so, we'll begin. Now today I've been kind of all over the map in a good way, thinking about this video. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna go because I got a bunch of stuff in my mind, but we'll see. And I was thinking about what is it that really is important to me with this work? And part of me, you know, there, there's, there's, there's so many things and stuff out there to create your reality and to heal your relationships and to create abundance and the, the law of attraction and, and all of this stuff, which is really amazing and beautiful. To give us, to give me, to give you, an experience of the outer world which we think we want, and we do want. We do want better relationships. We do want more money. We want less scarcity. We want more pleasure. We want to heal. And in a way, that's not what my stuff is about. What can often happen and does often happen is that many of those kinds of things get resolved as a matter of course. You know, when people come to me, they will bring those issues and we will work on them very earnestly. Uh, you know, and I'll do my very, very best I can. But for me, all of that and all of this stuff we do is about creating that feeling in ourselves that comes from having received the next level of awakening to self-acceptance, to self-love, to self-forgiveness. And we come back into our hearts because we're so focused on the outside. None of this is a new idea. But basically we kind of bring everything in into the self, into this feeling state, because being in this feeling state, being this feeling state of self-acceptance and self-love and self-forgiveness, and this bliss that comes sometimes through grace, sometimes as a result of all the work you do, sometimes in the middle of a meditation. And when we're in this whoosh, the more we're going into this whoosh, what I find for myself is the more I kind of expand out to become the everything, to have the feeling of being connected, sometimes consciously, sometimes unconsciously, and playing and being in that all that is. And it's sometimes intellectual, I know what's happening, and sometimes it's happening and I have no clue, but suddenly out of nowhere I feel this bliss. And it absolutely for me, I believe has been a result of a lot of work on myself. And it's especially accelerated as a result of this magnetic heart activation stuff. And I find myself consciously and unconsciously playing out into 
the grid. That's why I call the website in the work I do called the heart grid. Because when we're in the heart, the more we're in the grid. The more we're in the grid, the more we kind of center down into the heart. It's the same. So in a way, I'm not interested in resolving your relationship issues, although that happens, thank God. Um, my goal is not to create abundance, at least in the way that the world experiences it. I'm here to be more in my own heart, and expand out, to become everything. And most of the time I don't know what's happening. But as I kind of expand out and then be brought back in, expand out, be brought back in, I become more down deep inside the heart, in the body, in the, the root, deeply rooted to the earth. The more I'm out in the everything, the more I am opening for the everything, for the pure consciousness, for the fundamental, what I believe the fundamental kind of benevolent intention of creation that's underneath all of it, but that can live through me. Because this feeling of bliss, this feeling of being whatever my next level of self-acceptance, self-forgiveness, and self-love has been, that brings me into this, oh, it opens me to be out, which, which brings me all the way back in. And I feel that that process that we all, I believe we all go through, whether you've done this uh, activating magnetic heart activations or not, which I strongly suggest you do. The more I go through this process, the more things just simply kind of work for me. They don't work, most of the time they don't work the way my ego thinks it needs to work for it to be real, or the way my ego, my intellectual mind wants it to, to work, or the way my intellectual mind thinks it has to work. Because nine times out of 10, it's wrong. And the things I thought I wanted did not give me what I wanted. And the things that came instead were way beyond what I ever imagined was possible. But for me, I had to let go of knowing what, I, what was the most important thing for me. And, and, and grabbing onto it as if it was a life and death struggle. So what I want for everyone, because this is what I know for now, and hopefully I can do this without with much less arrogance that I've realized in the last year that I've lived most of my life with. I release the arrogance, I become hopefully more humble. I acknowledge that I don't know anything. I allow the processes to work through me, bringing me into this place of this feeling of real beauty which expands me out. So by going in, I get expanded out. And by expanding out, I get brought back in. And it changes everything around me. It changes the outer world around me. It changes how things work around me. It changes the way I operate in the world. <clears throat> it opens me up, sometimes through love and peace and wonderful experiences, and sometimes through enormous pain. And that's okay. So I don't want to make everything beautiful for you the way your ego thinks it wants it. Maybe that'll happen. Often it does happen that way. But that's not the goal. For me, with all of this work that I'm beginning to kind of really step into and, and acknowledge how wonderful and amazing it is, is to give you that into the self, which brings you whoosh out into the everything, to be the pure love, mostly not 
the way this thing thinks it has to work. I guess to let go of control in a way is a part of it. So, a bunch of you has already kind of started joining me and, and, and getting the activations. Some of you have wonderful experiences. Some of you have had challenging experiences, but you keep coming back for the next level, for the next level. Many of you have been coming back and doing all five levels over and over and over again and having deeper and deeper results because we're not two-dimensional characters. We're multi-dimensional, way beyond five dimensions. <laughs> we're these beautiful creatures that are refining ourselves and allowing source or soul or God or the universe or whatever you want to call it to help us to continue to refine. We're going through this fundamental process going out into the all, which brings us back into the, to the one, which is the all, which is the one, which is the love. So, come play, okay? <laughs>